Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Today we are going to be talking about one of the largest moths in in South Florida and actually one of the largest moths in the world. It's the ficus sphinx and it's a huge, huge sphinx moth and it's actually pretty hard to find but they're around and we get to experience them down here in tropical South Florida. Tropical beauty, guys, let's talk about the ficus sphinx and our experience with this moth in South Florida. Pachalia ficus, guys, is one of the largest moths that we have here in South Florida. It's, it's a great bug. And as the name implies, it feeds on plants in the ficus family. So yeah, the native host plant of the ficus sphinx is the strangler fig. It is a large, big, strong flying sphinx moth, and they're brown with this kind of like mottled uh, hind wing, this coloration here, this dark band on the hind wing, and they've got those cream colored uh, little blotches there on the tip of the forewing. But guys, it's a, it's a large moth. Sexes are very similar. In fact, I've got males and females here. The females are a little bit larger, these are, the, these are the girls up here. Big, big thorax, big strong body, big abdomen. And the males are a little bit smaller, but pretty much identical in terms of coloration. The underside is brown. It's a brown moth, guys. But when they are fresh, when they freshly emerge, you might be able to see a little bit of it here. You can see how there's like some greenish and pinkish hue on the brown. So it's a, it's a pretty moth. They've got these little white, Little little dots here on the tip of the hind wing there. Uh, but it's a great moth. They feed on ficus. You know, th their native host plant is the strangler fig, which is common in the hammocks of South Florida. But we actually have a number of exotic or ornamental ficus species, including ficus benjamina, which is a non-native plant that is used heavily in landscaping, or at least it was, and the ficus sphinx caterpillars can be found readily on, on those ficus species. And, you know, we make hedges out of this ficus species. Now, the abundance of this moth in recent years has declined over the last decade or so. And I believe that it is because the white fly has been introduced from, I believe, Asia and has like devastated the ficus benjamina trees, uh, the ornamental ficus trees that we have here in South Florida. And I mean, it skeletonizes them. I mean, these little, uh, these little insects come in and they breed like crazy and they, they drop their little, you know, their little acid poop on the, on the leaves. And if you're parking underneath a infested plant, it's a mess on your car. But, um, but guys, so, People are paying big bucks for pesticide folks come spray their ficus trees. Well, you know, when you spray the ficus trees, you, know, you kill the white fly, but you also kill the caterpillars for the ficus sphinx. And so we just started seeing less and less of them once the white fly became a problem in South Florida. Uh, but we, we hardly ever see the caterpillars because they live way up in the canopy of these really tall ficus trees. But when people actually experience them, it's when they the caterpillar goes pre-pupil, they turn this really cool, like two-tone coloration with this like peach colored top and a green colored bottom. And then they, they crawl down out of the top of the tree and wind up crawling along the ground looking for a place to pupate because they pupate under the, in the ground, in the leaf litter. So that's when people normally see them. And a lot of times I'll get pictures of a, a pre-pupil uh, ficus sphinx caterpillar which is always pretty cool because then they don't have to, if you want to raise them out, you don't have to feed them anything. You can just let them put them in a container with dirt and they'll go make their pupa. And a few days later, you get a, a beauty a beauty like this hatch out. Um, adults are, uh, you know, they, they go to lights fairly readily, uh, but we don't see a lot of them at artificial lights. Uh, we found them in the Florida Keys, Key Largo and Big Pine Key. But uh, I'm sure they live pretty much anywhere there is strangler figs. So I'm sure they live in the other keys. We just haven't found them. Uh, adults can be found more, most commonly April, May, June, and July. Those are the months that we've recorded them 
in the Florida Keys uh, as adults. So in the mainland, guys, we've found many ficus sphinx. Uh, actually, one of the one of the fun things is in growing up, my dad had two ficus benjamina trees in the front yard. And the best way to find the caterpillars when they were before they turned prepupil was to look for the frass on the sidewalk. I always remember whenever I'd see frass pellets on the sidewalk, I know that there's a, a ficus caterpillar uh, up on the ficus tree. So I would get up the ladder and go up there and start looking. But it's incredible how difficult they are to find. Uh, even if you know they're there, they are super, super camouflaged. So, um, but I remember finding a couple of them on walls and gas stations and shopping centers and so on. But we like to raise them and, you know, the kids have fun letting the newly emerged ones crawl in their hair and stuff. Yeah, that's that's right. Those are my kids. But uh, ficus sphinx, guys, a great moth, great bug. Glad to have them here in South Florida. They're common throughout the tropics and in Central America. Central and South America. They're common throughout the tropics in Central and South America and the Caribbean and pretty much anywhere there is ficus species, they will grow there. Guys, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, when you do, you click the bell and you get notified every time we put out a new video on the moths and butterflies of South Florida and the Florida Keys. Guys, uh, great moth, the ficus sphinx, uh, what I want to do is I wanted to give a shout out to the Southern Lepidoptera Society. It's a group of men and women that I belong to that focus on the studying of insects, butterflies and moths of the Southern United States. If you want to join our organization, it's about 35 bucks a year for membership. You get newsletters, you get invited to a annual meeting and there's field collecting trips. But best thing about it, you get to have access to some of the most knowledgeable people that I've ever met on the butterflies and moths of the South, Southern United States. So guys, click the link in my description and you can get to the website for the Southern Lepidopterist Society. Uh, but guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Let's find some beauties like the ficus swings. Take care.